Hey everybody, this is Dan from uh, Ultralight from the Weekend Warrior. I just want to go over real quick what's in my, uh, I guess most people will call it a ditty bag, but I call it my quick draw bag because it's got more than just the normal ditty stuff in it. This bag sits on top of my pack inside and anything that I might need to grab during the day is in there, um, plus a few other things. So I'll start with the bag itself. It's a... Uh, z packs Cuban Fiber Small Dry Bag. Uh, seams are taped now. The old ones didn't come that way, but the new ones do. It's pretty nice. Um, weighs not doesn't weigh very much. 0 0.1, 0 0.2 ounces, something like that. Um, oh, I lied to you, half an ounce. But anyway, uh, I'll put all the weights on later. The uh, first most first thing in my bag is, this is my first aid kit, I got, it's also sort of my repair kit, I have a little Cuban fiber tape in there to repair, could, anything, any of my Cuban fiber stuff, my stuff sacks, my dry bags, my shelter, etc., um, weighs next to nothing, uh, a little bit of narrow athletic tape, or whatever you want to call it, uh, stuff to treat blisters, anti-diarrheal, uh, my migraine medicine, uh, various bandages, a couple of safety pins, and right here, that's the only knife I carry, it's a utility knife blade in a piece of Cheerios box so that it doesn't destroy everything. Um, so that's that. Uh, my toothbrush, which is like a it was a folding travel toothbrush from Walmart, which I just broke the bottom off of. And then there's just dried toothpaste dots in there. Maybe five or six of them. All together that might weigh an ounce. Um, this is kind of a luxury. Uh, this is my spare battery for my cell phone. It's a Goal Zero switch. Works pretty well. Charges my phone little more than once, my iPhone 5, uh, headphones, and normally a charging cord would be in there, but I only have one, so I don't put it in there until the last minute, um, but I use my phone for everything, it's my camera, it's my music, it's my, sometimes I have maps on it, so it's nice to, nice to have that extra battery, um, this is my headlamp, it's a Petzl, Petzl E Plus light, just a little emergency headlamp. It works okay for camp chores and stuff like that, but it's not really bright enough to hike by. Um, but I, I almost never get caught in the dark. I'm, I usually plan pretty well for that, so in a pinch it would get me out, get me out of the woods if it had to. But um, this is the old version. The new version is more like the Petzl Zip because it has a retractable retractable Dyneema cord that goes kind of pulls inside, but I think it weighs the same amount until you add the retracting mechanism and everything, so no sense buying a new one. Um, of course, my Aquamira water treatment repackaged into these smaller bottles. Um, normally, I carry even smaller bottles than these, but uh, this is what I have right now. No reason to change them out. I'm not that pressed for cutting grams. Uh, this is my utility cord. As you can see, it's a jumbled mess. No matter how hard I try to organize it, it never works. But uh, there's probably about 40 feet left of this at the moment. It's Z cord from uh, from Z packs. It's like a half an ounce, something like that. Use it for bear bagging if I have to. Uh, fix a shoelace if I have to. Fix a guy line if I have to. That's why I don't know how much is left exactly, because I've used some of it. Uh, but that's in there too, just in case I have to grab it in a hurry. And here we have... This is like a supplemental first aid kit almost. Uh, I don't know... Don't know why it's separate. I made it separate one time, and... That's just how it is. Uh, there's a little tub here. I repackaged some Vaseline, just in case I have some chafage or start getting hot spots on my feet or whatever. Uh, body glide, same basic thing. I have these three little 
almost single serving packages. And then I have these tiny bottles. This one is, you can see it says DEED on the side. That's my insect repellent. And that one says soap. That's uh, that's some repackaged Dr. Bronner's. I don't, you know, soap, wash your hands every once in a while. But other than that, I don't use much of it. And DEED, hardly ever. I don't think I've ever even refilled this bottle. As long as it's been in my kit, I don't really... If I run into bugs, I just deal with it most of the time. Unless I'm in a, unless I'm particularly worried about West Nile or Lyme disease that day. Uh, this is just a couple of sheets of paper, two or three sheets of paper, and it, the insert from a pen, just the ink insert. Uh, it's lighter than carrying the whole pen. It's a pain to write with, but I very, very rarely use it. So I figured it was worth worth shaving some grams since it's uh, something I very rarely use and then I keep my cook pot in there just because it's it actually helps protect some of that stuff from getting crushed these little bottles and I'm always paranoid that they're gonna break open in my pack so I shove all that stuff in the pot before I put it in my bag uh, sometimes I'll use the pot during the day for a drink or to make something so it's nice to have it on top of my pack it doesn't really need to be inside of anything, but, but that's where I put it, um, so that's my kind of quick draw bag, uh, I always make sure that's the last thing that goes in my pack, so if I ever have to grab it, it's right there, sometimes it's on the outside of my pack, it just all depends on the mood I'm in that day, that's why it's in a waterproof bag, uh, guess that's it, hope you guys enjoyed this little video.